Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to be looking at zone based policy firewall operation. We'll be discussing zone based policy firewall actions, rules for transit traffic, and finally, rules for traffic to the self zone. This episode is part of my series on network security. I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. Policies identify actions that the zone-based policy firewall will perform on your network traffic. Three possible actions can be configured to process the traffic by protocol, source, and destination zones, or what we call zone pairs. Inspect, drop, and pass. Now, inspect here, this performs the Cisco IOS stateful packet inspection. It looks at that, that packet and inspects it. The next thing we can do is we can drop it. This is similar to that deny statement in an access control list. What happens is when we drop a packet, a log option is available to log those rejected packets. And then the third one here is pass. This is similar to the permit in an access control list. The pass action does not track the state of the connection or sessions within the traffic. Traffic that is going through router interfaces is subject to several rules for governing that interface's behavior. Here we have an example. On the right, we can see we have three zones. We have a private zone, we have a public zone, and then we have a DMZ zone. Private here is your local area network. This is your network. So this is our LAN here. The public zone, you can think of this as your ISP or the internet. And then DMZ, this is where we put in our web server. We have rules here that govern how this traffic is going to pass between zones. What we need to do is look at the source interface and the destination interface. When we do that, we have to remember we can specify one interface or multiple interfaces to a zone. And then we set up those rules for that. And so when we look here and we see, and we look at the source interface here for the member zone and then the destination interface for the member, member zone. So is the source interface member of a zone? If it's member of a zone, zone yes or no. Is the destination interface part of a zone? So if these two are both no, what we do is because they're not a member of the zone, there is no zone pair, there's no policy, so we pass that through. If it goes from one interface to another interface that's not part of a policy, we'll pass that data through. Now, if one of those interfaces are part of the zone and the other is not part, so the source is part of a zone, destination interface is not part, or vice versa, because one belongs to the zone and one doesn't belong to the zone, we're going to drop those packets. Then we come down here and we now look at the interfaces. It, when we look at the interfaces, we're also going to look at the zone they belong to. Is it public or private? So for here, we're passing data from a source zone in our private. So that interface is part of the private zone. Destination interface is part of the private zone because these are both both yes they both belong to a zone they're both going to the private zone we're going to pass that information next one here they they're both part of both interfaces are part of a zone but we're going from the private as the source to the destination so we're going from the inside of your network here from from your private network to the internet and you can think of this as the, the LAN here is the most secure. The DMZ is kind of secure. The internet, because you have no control over it, that is the least secure. And if we're passing data from the most secure to the least secure, what we're going to do here, and that's what this line is about, we're going to drop that information. Down here, if we're going from the private to the public, address 
and now we have a zone pair and so we've set up some rules here to allow it to happen we're going to pass that information see the line above it yeah it, it was yes private to yes private but we didn't have that zone pair we dropped it now down here we have that yes private to a, or sorry yes private to a yes public we have the zone pair here, we're gonna pass it. And then our last option right here is we have a yes private. So that zone interface is, or sorry, that interface is part of a member zone and, go, and it's going from the private to the public here. There's a zone pair and there's a policy that exists. So we've, we've set up a policy, we're gonna inspect that. And that inspection happens because we have this policy set up here if you like this episode on zone based policy firewall operation and you get value out of it and depending upon the platform you're using please click that like like button leave a five star rating leave a comment doing this helps support the channel which in turn helps me bring you more great content subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to be alerted every time i release a new episode you can also visit my website at kevtechify.com for all of my details and how to get these episodes in video and podcast form. The self zone is the router itself. And now this includes all the IP addresses that are assigned to the router interfaces. Self zone traffic is traffic that originates at the router or is addressed to a router interface. The rules depend on whether the router is the source or the destination of the traffic. What we do here is we look at is the source is the source interface here member of the zone and we're going to assume that they're all part of it is the destination interface and once again we're going to assume that they're all part of a zone now what we have to look at here is is it part is the source interface part of the self zone so is that data originating on ourself on the router itself and then is it transferring to another zone so data from the router transferring to a different zone if there's no zone pair here we're going to pass that data through there now if that data starts with the router itself goes to another zone and the zone pair does exist we are also going to pass that we're, we're trusting the traffic here that starts with us. Then the last one here is if, if it's part of a, a zone and a, that traffic is originating on that router destined for another zone, we have a zone pair and we have a policy. Once again, because we have that policy, we are going to inspect it. So every time you see basically that we do have an inspect here, you can assume that we have that policy. So when that policy exists, that's when we accept it. The next part is we're looking at traffic coming from one of our zones. So this is, this is one of the zones we've established and they're destined for the self zone, destined for the router itself. Once again, we look at that. So if there is no zone pair, or if there is a zone pair with no policy, we're going to pass that data from zone to zone. So data from one of our zones to the device itself, whether or not we have a zone pair or not, we're going to pass that. But if we have data that's originating on our network, or sorry, from one of our zones we define, that's destined to the router itself, we have that zone pair, we have that policy, what we're going to do is we're going to inspect that data again once again because we have that policy we are going to inspect that data it was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on zone based policy firewall operation if you like this episode and you got value out of it and of course depending upon what platform you're using please click that like button give a five star rating leave a comment this all helps me bring you more great content Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. You can get all these episodes in video and podcast form. 
In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on network security. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.